Hello everyone, this is Ruchi Kaushik from Informatica Global Support. Today we are going to learn how to configure get related and related records. Agenda for today's topic is what is related record, provisioning tool configuration and result demo in Entity360. Introduction The related record component is secondary component that you can add to a record view layout. The re component lists records that are directly related to the record that is open in a record view. Each related record in the component is a link that you can open in a record view. The related record component shows only the record that user has permission to view. To be able to add, edit and delete relationship, the user must have the permission for the type of business entity that they want to relate. To set permission, you use security access manager that is SAM in MDM console. For more information re uh, regarding related record, you can use MDM multi-domain MDM configuration guide. Prerequisite for related record component is hub console and the provisioning application. Configuration overview. Provisioning tool configuration. Go into the provisioning tool. Go to the component editor. Select related record under component editor. Create new record and provide the proper access that is owner or read only. Create new filter and provide the filter conditions such as object type and object. In object type, select business entity or relationship where you uh, whereas under the object select entity on which you want to configure related record. Now the demo part. Link to application. Under configuration, go to component editor. In external links, here under component editor, we have to select rela related records. Now create the related record. Give name, like I am giving here test. Test. On a direction. As well as read only. Now apply. Now click on filter part, create filter, give some name like I am giving your test only, object type I am selecting business entity whereas on object I am select, selecting organization. Now apply the changes. Now go to configuration, layout designer, under organization will create a new layout record view layout now selecting record view and record view uh, task not name I am giving here test only under organization select organization view next I am giving select user role to anyone you can give according to your uh, according to your choice now I am selecting everything here I am selecting create record, view or edit record, review task for business entity workflow, review task for subject area workflow, view record details in a quick view tab uh, of the network view, view record details in the quick, uh, quick view tab for the hierarchy view. Now I am selecting this template too. Next, now I am taking record details as well as related record here. Now selecting test which we have configured under configuration component editor. Now save the changes. Now publish the changes. The changes have been published successfully now. Now log into your IDD application. Queries. I am going to organization for which we have uh, configured the related record component. Now run the query. So I am taking any XYZ record organization that is media networks. We will have the test like the related record here which is related to this record. So in this manner we can configure related record component. So you will get the related record here. Similarly, you can configure related record on the relationship according to your requirement. Like here we have created on employees. So you can create on person owns product employees credit card and uh, what you have configured. So this was the demo part summary. Here we have learned how to configure uh, related component in provisioning tool, creating new layout in provisioning and the demo. Reference docs are the KB articles on the portal information. So uh, this is the KB which you can refer and you can uh, go for MDM configuration guide, E360 guide. 
We would love to hear you from support video at the rate informatica dot com as well as on Twitter. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Thank you so much.